We are going to take a look at question number one, which asks how many students received each of the possible scores on the WPST. So the WPST is a writing proficiency exam administered, or it used to be administered on CSU campuses, and it is scored by two raters that could each give a value of two, three, four, or five. So the range of possible scores was four to ten, and a seven was considered a passing score. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the Google Sheet. Here what I've done is I've um, made some of the rows a little bit narrower just to give myself a little bit more room over here to the right to demonstrate what to do. It's not necessary for you to do the same thing. Um, you can, basically you can work in any blank space. This was just for recording purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in any empty cell. So I'm going to click N3, but it could be anywhere. And I'm just going to type in score and then in 03, I'm going to type in frequency. So since the possible scores can be 4 through 10, I'm going to type those values in here. And then what I would like Sheets to do is display how many people had a score of 4 and how many people had a score of 5 and so on. So if you don't know what the function or formula should look like, what you can do is come up here to the summation symbol and if you click the little triangle there, if what you're looking for doesn't seem to appear in that short list, you can click on more functions and that will take you to a website where you can type in the word that you're looking for. So this is going to be frequency. I'm interested in finding the frequency. And as you type in the word, then you see different possible uh, functions that may work for you. And the first one is actually the one we want. So this syntax column tells you how the formula needs to look. So it has frequency and then it says we need information about where the data will come from and then information about where the classes will come from. So I'll explain that when we get back to the sheets. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in cell 04. So that's the cell I want to display the frequency of those getting a score of 4. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in equals because every formula has to start with an equals. So up here in the formula bar is where you actually see the equals. And then the previous web page indicated I have to type the word frequency. Let's see, I have to spell it correctly. And then a parentheses. And then here it gives me information about how it should look as well. So the data come from, I can look over here, and it's cell G, and if I click down, it goes all the way to cell G101. So that's the last one. So over here in my formula bar, it puts that in for me. And then I'm going to type a comma. So G2 colon G101 is the range of data um, where located on the spreadsheet. And then next I need to type in the range of cells where the scores are going to be placed. So that is going to be up here where I typed in my 4 through 10. So it's going to be in 4 through N10. So if I click and drag, I might not quite get it. So I'm going to actually type in N4 colon N10 and then type in the right parentheses. So my whole formula then is equals frequency G2 colon G101 comma N4 colon N10 and then all I do is hit enter and it automatically populates the frequencies for the different scores that you've noted. And for some reason in sheets it always puts a zero in the row after where you have data so you're just going to ignore that. It doesn't really matter. So on the worksheet 
it asks you to basically do a screenshot, but you can do that by copying and pasting the information here, navigating back to the worksheet, pasting that in. And it doesn't look super great, but it'll work for the worksheet, that's fine. Or if you'd rather use the snipping tool or Command Shift 4 to take a screenshot, that works as well. And then it asks you to copy the formula. So to do that, you need to actually click in one of the cells that had the frequency formula, and then come up here to the formula bar and select it, copy it, and then paste that uh, it actually <laughs> kind of messed up here when it did the paste, but that's okay. You can just, you can paste it below. And that shows me that you've done the work, so that'll work out just fine. And that's it.